Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Rants, where we sit back and talk shit about some of the amazing shows that appeared on television. For example, Code Lyoko, Randy Cunningham, Night Great Ninja, Kid vs. Cat, Shaolin Showdown. What do you know about the Shaolin? But today we're talking about these baddies. So let's get it! Y'all really think y'all did some shit with that synchronized clap? Well, you did! Like a dog in heat, I'm turned on now! Damn, as fine as you are, I gotta roast you! You're not slick, I saw you start emoting on the dance floor! Not a boogie bomb in sight, and you're over here trying to show off? For what? You have equal screen time! And Alex, baby girl, is this really the routine you prepared for today? Cause that shit was weak! Like at least Clover saved herself with this little crane stance! But both you need to go back to rehearsals this instant! You know, as much shit as I want to talk about the show, I can't even lie. Their theme is gas. For a 2001 show, they were in their bag. Who's this Ricky Mathis chump anyway? I don't know, but his fans sure seem to like him. He can't keep his lame pretty boy single on the shelf. So you're mad that you work at Radio Shack and he's a famous singer? <laughs> my guy, if you don't shut the fuck up and keep stalking my CDs. Do you want to uh, explain this weird ass undercut with no fade? Like, what did you tell him? Here's 20 bucks, fuck me up, please. And these aren't even people here, these are demons. This nigga right here was foaming at the mouth and he made sure I saw it. And instead of fighting back, you choose to get eaten alive? Go take your points out of dexterity and put it in defense. Sammy, any chance I could borrow your cashmere belly sweater tomorrow? Sure, that's what best friends are for. Hey, what about me? Uh. What about you? It was even it was here your conversation. Aren't I your best friend too? At this point, Alex, I don't know if you just have severe depression or you're just trying to start problems. Clover, what is it? I'm really hoping those were the sound of clackers instead of her cheeks clapping. What's wrong? Did he just do the Debbie Ryan? <laughs> oh my god. Say what you guys want. Man has Riz. <laughs> Did this chick get a running start and then stone on him with the Hi, I'm Clover. About to buy every single guitar in a 20 mile radius. Only, I just can't help liking Damon. Call me crazy, but I just have this thing for musicians. I've gotta find a way to get his attention off of Mandy and onto me. You know, I know Whoop is known for its crazy ass abductions, but does Jerry not see how terrified they are? These women are being plucked from the real world during midday, and no one around the school bats an eye? The amount of PTSD this would give me is insane! <laughs> Jerry, are you telling me there's really no better way to call them in? Wade had a whole phone set up for Kim, so why are we using trauma as a means of notification? I hope you know, Jerry, you're getting canceled this episode. Well, so nice of you girls to drop in. Was that a pun? Jerry, do you think you're being fucking funny right now? Nice for some of us. <gasps> Y'all know who this nigga looks like? Look! You can't tell me it's not! And Clover, what exactly are you rubbing right now? You literally have no buns! <laughs> Just pancake! <laughs> and look, even your best friend is confused! Just rub some Neosporin on it and keep it pushing! <laughs> Ricky Mathis? Never heard of him. Okay, couple things. First off, uh, he's hot. I feel like that needs to be pointed out. Uh, second, what the fuck is this? Cause I can't tell if this is a four, a six, or a G. Like, is it supposed to be 2G, 3G, 5G? What is it? And three, is his name supposed to be like a ripoff of Martin Mystery? Because if he shows up in the series, I'm down for that. The optimistically titled Rock Legend. Which makes it even more unsettling that there have been reports of similar occurrences all around the globe. Something's up, we're just not sure what. <laughs> I, I can't even lie, she's talented! I always loved the funny women, the funny women got a place in my heart! Matter of fact, in the comments, let me know which one of the Totally Spies was your favorite. And I swear to God, if you say Clover, you're done! All we need is a name. Actually, ladies, we've already taken care of your name. We're called the Spies? That is so lame! <sighs> 
you know, I, I get the idea of what Jerry is going for, but riddle me this. The average person during this time frame is probably either outside or looking out their window at some bullshit, right? And every time you hear a plan, more than likely you're gonna look outside to look up, because that's just what you do as a kid. Now, if we see a colorful ass plane with flowers on it that says spies, I'm going to assume you're a secret agent, because what's the best way to hide from someone? Oh yeah, in plain sight. The drop is ready, sir. Oh, yes, the gear. This week, you'll be utilizing the expandable cable bungee belt, the wind tunnel 3000 tornado blast hairdryer, the suction cup bottomed go go boost. You know, say what you want about Totally Spies, they had some very creative gadgets, which I really feel like is what's missing from like a lot of shows nowadays. Like, it's, it's just missing that creative aspect. And just to let you know, I'm about to go on a fucking rant, so just, just hang on. Like, a lot of the old TV shows you used to watch, they had the, that sense of adventure and that creativity something that actually wanted me to watch it and even if the plot wasn't like a hundred percent it was still something easy to follow like stuff that made you fall in love with the character or hope for characters to actually make it through something that they really want to achieve which they did a great job of doing but no now now we get shows that are rebooted rebranded and fucking tarnished of the original series they actually made that was good like teen titans go why would you do that like i'll admit they had some banger songs in there i can't even lie but why do that and not finish the series. I'm still losing sleep over that. And Static Shock, don't even get me fucking started on the disrespect they did to him. It was one of the best shows that perfectly displayed racism and how to overcome it, as well as how to deal with it. And it didn't feel forced. And he's a nigga with superpowers. It was dope. And Up Up and Away did a decent job too. And then years later, they dropped Luke Cage and Black Lightning. Like, who asked for that? As a matter of fact, most of the DC series is fucking cheeks. Like, the only things I can really think of that were actually pretty decent for DC, the Justice League series, somewhat Young Justice, Crypto the Superdog was an actual fucking classic that was dope, the live-action Flash series for only, like, a couple seasons, then it just got repetitive, a lot of the Batman series and Batman Beyond, which <laughs> we need a movie of, I don't know what's taking them so long, and Superman. That's really it to me. Like, I don't know what happened, like, sometime after between, like, 2010 and 2014, shit just started fucking changing. And yeah, sure, if it's, if it's because of cancer culture, I, I understand that. People need to take accountability. Even me. If, if I do something wrong, I'll take accountability for it. But look what happened. Now everybody's scared. Everybody's fucking scared now. Just fucking changing. Nothing's good anymore. Even the gaming industry's in the fucking toilet. That, that's a whole other video in itself. But I've been ranting long enough. If you guys want more videos about me fucking ranting about all the all the shit that's fucking changing, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll make one for you. And sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've been, <laughs> I've been kinda sick these past couple of days. But let's get back to the video. Now, goodbye and good luck, ladies. Or as they say in showbiz, break a leg. <laughs> Okay, but Jerry, why, why can't you just tell them I'm about to open the hatch? Get ready. And where the fuck were all these agents chilling at? Were they in the cockpit? And could you imagine just the floor leaving from underneath you and no one says shit? They're just staring at you while you fall down? I would have pissed myself. Okay, at this point, I need to know who is running Whoop Corporations. Because at this point, what we've seen that they can do is absolutely insane. Where's this fuck you money coming from? They've built a bunch of fucking escape hatches around the school. So I guess abduct three teenage girls whenever the fuck they feel like it. They gave Jerry a living room the size of Manhattan. They gave him a bedazzled jet just for disguise purposes which don't fucking make sense. And they gave him gadgets far beyond our fucking imaginations. And then they get to live in this Jeffree Star level penthouse. What the fuck is happening? He'll be so impressed with me. Is that all she thinks about? Hello? Hi, Dave. Yo, he picked that up fast as fuck. Damon, relax. She already wants you. Just give it a bit. Damon, it's Clover. Just thought I'd call to see what's happening stateside. I don't know what's going on stateside, but I'm hanging out at the mall. So what's up with you, Clover? Yo, Damon is him. He didn't, he didn't even say, yeah, I'm here with this other chick. He just said, yeah, I'm here at the mall. Basically, yeah, I'm by myself. Clover, you don't know it yet, but you are in there. You must be the spies. And you must be Gustavo, because something seems fishy. It's weird. Since when do CDs glow? So, besides the fact that he has totally crazed fans and glowing CDs, Ricky seems pretty normal to me. So, not one person was surprised by this kryptonite-infused CD? Like, not even one Facebook post or one Tumblr post that, like, hashtag what the fuck is this? And low-key, that shit looks like radiation. Sam, stop touching that!
I can't even knock the TV show for promoting their own theme song. I mean, it, it, it's hard as a bitch, I can't lie. But there's a couple things I need to be pointing out about this scene directly. Like, for one, what the fuck is going on with your audience? Like, these two guys are either blind or they're secret agents. It's the only two options. And everybody else looks like they didn't even know they were gonna be here today. This person looks lost. And then you're telling me you guys didn't have enough time to finish drawing this one? Why the fuck couldn't Tom make the cut? What happened? And this guy's drinking a bottle of Smirnoff. In a kid's show! All I'm saying is, if you're gonna be consistent, be consistent! And finish drawing Tom, I'm tired of this shit! Unfortunately, Ricky invited those pesky spies to come in. We'll have to keep tight security. Huh? Oh, oh uh, hey, 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 girls, what's wrong? Uh, aren't you having fun? <laughs> So, a couple things during this scene. Sam, did you just make a pass while holding a pass at the bodyguard? <laughs> That's kind of clever. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm going to write that down. But Gustavo, why are you freaking out right now? All they did was come inside and sit down. And all you have to say is, hey, what's up? That's it. But no, you want to act like a squirrel and start checking out the environment around you? You look guilty. You're cooked. Ricky's fans are nuts, his CDs glow, he doesn't sing, and his manager sits in a soundproof booth during his shows. Getting freaky. The only thing freaky right now is how Clover looks right now. And at this point, you guys still have no case. The only thing you really have is Gustavo's anxiety and the kryptonite flavored CD, which shouldn't even count. What do you think, Clover? I think Ricky was incredible. I mean, he's so talented. I could just listen to him all night. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I don't even know how to respond to that. Why is she so horny? Cause now you're scaring me, Alex, and Sam. Go take some melatonin. Must wow. be Ricky. Who the fuck breaks into somebody's room and put rose petals everywhere? Who the fuck do you think has to clean that up? And Clover, if you don't take your filthy ass shoes off, and why don't you have a pillow? This is bullshit. I demand a refund for Clover. Because since Jerry likes to spend his money on bedazzled jets, now Clover has to sleep with a stiff neck. Fuck Jerry. Oh, those. They were sent by one Damon Reynolds. This nigga Damien did what? I don't know why Damon's going so hard. She already likes you. Your simping is not pimping, gang. Stop it. The new Ricky single is all finished. Excellent. Now let's see the effects firsthand. I take it the guy with the scary hook is Sebastian. And I take it he doesn't play guitar much these days. Why are you guys whispering? You're gonna get caught. <laughs> Fuck, I can't even lie. Ricky makes good music! Did you see that? It's like, it's like Ricky's song hypnotized that guy or something. The frequency they were talking about must be some kind of subliminal mind control device. Okay, at this point, I don't think you guys even want to be spies anymore. I think you want to get caught. You are whispering underneath a table at dick level. We can hear that. If Ricky performs at the concert, the fans will do whatever the lyrics say! Security! <sighs> Alright, I'm about to head out. Because I fucking told you guys, you don't listen! So, the spies are really... spies. How totally lame and unimaginative. Bro, thank you, because that shit didn't make any fucking sense for them to do that! Like, Jerry literally set them up on purpose! What are you guys doing here? You're supposed to be out there playing! Well, we would be, except your good friends Phil and Sebastian decided to lock us in a recording booth and use a hypnotic version of your new song to try to turn us into zombies. Alex, fill him in. I gotta get to that radio tower. What the fuck do you mean, fill him in? You told him everything. And not only did you tell him everything, you broke his mind. Just look at him. And Sam, you're cold, but you're not that cold. Take Alex with you. <laughs> Okay, never mind. You got it. That whole scene was actually pretty badass. I can't even lie. But here's my thing. Sam, how did you not die?
die right here. You were at point blank range. I don't know who's worse, stormtroopers or them. And then great job of sticking and landing, you know, like, like falling down backwards. Smart, very smart. But y'all, look at this nigga. <laughs> He's like, damn, bitch, that was you up there. You almost got knocked the fuck out. Your ass almost became Swiss cheese. So... Those two are dead. Ricky is absolutely fucking useless. Has those muscles for no reason. Like, why is Alex? Why is Alex's clothes almost ripped apart? Like, she's basically naked right now, and you don't have a scratch on you. What material is that? Cotton? Cause I can smell it from here. Don't worry, girls. We'll take over from here. Terry, what the hell are you talking about? It's over. We. Finished it, and I bet you he's taking all the credit. Swear to God, worst leader ever.